Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice, she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? So, she was considering in her own mind as well as she could, for the hot, the hot day, day made her feel very sleepy and stupid. Whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies. When suddenly, all oh, my ears and whiskers, I shall be late. You just have to excuse me, I am in a I must have fallen straight through the center of the earth and come out among the people that walk upside down. The antipathies, I think. <laughs> Ma'am, is this Australia or New Zealand?
I'm opening up like the largest telescope there ever was. Goodbye, feet. Goodbye, Alice. Oh, my poor little feet. Oh, poor Alice. I wonder who put on your stockings and shoes. We wonder who will walk with you. I'm sure I won't be able. We show you what we have. But who will bring me down on Christmas morning? You must manage the best you can. In this situation, I think that we, we must manage the best we can. Goodbye, feet. Bye. you see in the window? Surely it's an Arab, Your Honor. An Arab, you goose. <laughs> well, who ever saw one that size? Why, it fills the whole window. Well, it's got no business being there. Go and take it away. Oh, I'm sure I don't like it at all, at all. Do as I tell you, you coward. <laughs> all right, where's the ladder? Bill has got to go down the chimney. Grab that lizard. No, no, wait. I don't want to go. No, 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 Go. Hold up his head. Bring him some brandy now. Now watch that you don't choke him. How was it, old fellow? Tell him about it, Bill. I'm minding my own business. Business. As down the chimney I do go. at me like a jack in the box <laughs> and if like a skyrocket i do go 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 and down in the hedge goes his must be growing smaller.
I wonder if that means that I shall never be any older than I am. <laughs> that would be a comfort in that I would never have to be an old woman. But then I should have so many lessons to learn. I shouldn't like that at all.
Cheshire cats could grin. In fact, I didn't know that cats could grin. They all can, and most of them do! I don't know any that do. You don't know much, and that's a fact! It takes 24 hours for the world to spin around on its axis. Talking of axes, jump over I speak so clearly to my boy and beat him when he sneezes. For he can thoroughly enjoy Peppa when he pleases. He pleases Peppa when he pleases. Wow, wow, wow. Cheshire Puss Can you tell me please Which way I ought to go from here uh, That depends a good deal on where You want to get to <laughs> I don't much care where. Well, then it doesn't matter which way you go. Oh, no. So long as I get somewhere. Oh, you're sure to do that if you only walk long enough. <laughs> what sort of people live around here? In that direction lives a hatter, and in that direction lives a march hare. I visit either you like it, they're both men. <laughs> I don't want to go among mad people. Oh, you can't help that. We're all mad here. I'm mad, you're mad, I'm mad, you're mad, I'm mad, you're mad. How do you know that I'm mad? You must be, or you wouldn't have come. Yeah, how do you 
today. Oh, I haven't been invited yet. Ah, well, you'll see me there. Oh. <laughs> By the by, whatever happened to the baby I'd nearly forgotten to ask? It turned into a pig. I thought it would. Did you say a pig or fig? I said per, per, pig. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. I wish you would stop doing that. Doing what? <laughs> Appearing and disappearing like that. It makes me very giddy. All right. No. We've all seen a cat without a grin. Oh, yeah. But a grin without a cat, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It is our pleasure to present the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, the Dormouse, and the amazing Tea Table. No room, no room. There's plenty of room. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. There isn't any. Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited. I didn't know it was your table. It's laid out for a great many more than three. Your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make personal remarks. It's very rude. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh! I love riddles, I believe I can guess that. Ah, do you mean that you think you can find out the answer to it? Exactly so. Then you should say what you mean. I do, I mean what I say. That's the same thing, you know. Not the same thing a bit. Why, you might just as well say that I see what I eat is the same as I eat what I see. You might as well say that I like what I get is the same as I get what I like. You might as well say that I breathe when I sleep is the same as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you. What day of the month is it? Two days wrong. I told you butter wouldn't suit the works. It was the best butter. The Dormouse is asleep again. Of course, of course. Just what I was going to remind myself. Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, I give up. What is the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. Nor I. Nor I. I think you might do something better with your time than wasting it in riddles that have no answers. If you knew time as well as I do, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It's him. He never talks about wasting you. You already told me that before, you know. Three little sisters and their names are Lacey, Tilly, and Elsie. And they lived at the bottom of a well. What did they live on? They lived at the bottom of a well. 
have done that, you know. They'd have been ill. They were very ill. Two, three, four. Why did they live at the bottom of a well? Some more tea. I've had nothing yet, so how can I have more? You mean you can't take less? It's very easy to take more than nothing. Why did they live at the bottom of the way? It was a treacle well. There's no such thing. Sisters, they were learning to draw, you know. What they draw? Draw! Comes now. 
actually to me cutting off heads. Cutting off heads. You know for years it's been a popular hobby making people dead. Better than dead. When I meet a person who rubs me the wrong way, I don't take the time to wonder why. Why waste a moment with slaves who don't adore me? Just cut off their heads, watch them die. to be afraid of as long as you agree that I am absolutely perfect. You may think that she's an ogre, she is just a queen next door, she's simply an accident of a color, sugar. That is nothing but to be afraid of as long as you agree that she is absolutely perfect. Off with her head, hey! Off with her head, hey! Off with her head, hey! to play croquet. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Come on, honey. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Up, 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 up. This is the most curious croquet ground I've ever seen in all my life. Jump, darling, jump, jump. It's all ridges and furrows. I said jump. Jump. The croquet balls are live hedgehogs. <laughs> and the croquet mallets are live flamingos. You two, darling, off with our hair dye. Um, the chief difficulty seems to be in managing the flamingo. So... Once you get it, tucked away comfortably enough under the arm, with the, um, with, with the legs, with the legs, with the legs hanging down. And once you get its neck nicely straightened out, and you're going to give the hedgehog a blow with its head. It looks up in your face and gives you such a puzzled expression that everyone bursts out laughing. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion it's a very difficult game indeed. A hedgehog, hedgehog, run away. Never hit a hedgehog with the beak of a flamingo. That's not how to play croquet. You'll be stuck with your book in the mug and you'll be stuck. Y'all help me. You'll be stuck with your book in the mug and you'll be stuck. Never play croquet with a ball that's a hedgehog, cause a hedgehog will run away. Never hit a hedgehog with the beak of a flamingo, cause that's not how to play croquet. And you'll be stuck with your book in the mug, and you'll be stuck, you know. And you'll be stuck with your book in the mug, and you'll be stuck. I see lots of hedgehogs running. I see lots of flamingos sunning themselves in this tropical air. It isn't
hasn't got any sorrow with all his fancy. Come on. Look, here's a young lady. She wants to hear your story. Oh, I... She does. Oh. Uh, I'll tell her. Once I was a real title. <laughs> When we were very little, we used to go to school in the sea. The master was an old title. We used to call him Tortoise. <laughs> Why did you call him Tortoise if he wasn't one? We called him Tortoise because he taught us. Really, you are very dull. You ought to be ashamed of yourself asking such a stupid question. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, we used to go to school in the sea, though you may not believe it. I never said I didn't believe you it. You did. Hold your tongue. Dave, I, I, I know. Heard. All right. Uh, we had the very finest of educations. We went to school Every day. I go to school every day. You needn't be so proud as all that. With extras? Yes, with French and music. And washing? 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 No, certainly not. Well, then yours could not have been a very good school. <laughs> and ours, at the end of the bill, we had French, music, and washing. Extra. Well, you couldn't have wanted that very much, living at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, already, enough with the violin. <laughs> I couldn't afford it. I only took the regular course. What was the regular course? Oh, you know. Reeling and writhing, the various branches of mathematics, ambition, distraction, uglification, derision. But one thing I want you always to remember. A wise fish never goes anywhere without a porpoise. What? If a young fish comes to me and tells me he's going on a journey, I ask him, with what purpose? Okay. Wait, one thing more. Tell me. Have you ever heard of the lobster quadrille? No. Uh, 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 uh. What is it? It's a dance. It's a dance we used to do under the sea. Now I have my boy here. He's going to sing it for you. Go on. Come, come on. on. Just a few bars. Keep it short. Oh. Will you walk a little faster? <laughs> Said the whiting to who the snake. There's a porpoise close behind us, and he's treading on my tail. <laughs> See how eagerly the lobsters and the turtles all advance. <laughs> They are waiting on that shingle, won't you? <laughs> Come on and join the dance. What a dance that was. Not like what these young titles do today. They used to line up everybody the seals, the titles, the porpoises, and everyone with a lobster for a partner. It was beautiful. 
beautiful. You can really have no notion how delightful it will be. Too far and gave a look as scared. Said he thanked the wedding kindly, but he would not join. He would not join. He would not join. He would not join. Yeah! It will not join, 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 it will Not pale, beloved snail, but come and join the dance. Here we go. Will you want to? Will you want to? Will you want to join?
toes did Chiron gimble in the wave, or Mimsy were the Borogoves and the Momraths out grey. Was Brillig and the slithy toads did gyre and gimble in the wave? All mimsy were the bora goes and the mom rats are gray. Beware the jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite and the claws that catch. Beware the jab jab bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. He drew his purple sword in hand, long time the mingsome foe he sought. So rested he by the tum tum tree and stood a while in thought. Thought he stood the jabberwock with eyes of flame, King whiffling through the toggy wood and burbled as it came. Beware, jabberwock, eyes of the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Can you keep them crying by considering things? Yes, that's the way it's done, you see. No one can consider two things at once. Let's, Let's consider, consider your, your age, age first. first. How, How old, old are you? you? I'm seven and a half exactly. You needn't, you needn't say, say that, that surely. We, we believe, believe you without that. that. Now, now I'll, I'll give, give you something, something to believe. I am 101 and, and five months and a day. A day. I can't believe that. Try again. Take, Take a long breath and close your eyes. It's no use. I, I can't believe impossible things. Well, I 
dare say you haven't had much practice. Now, when I was your age, I used to practice for a half an hour every day. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> Why, sometimes I have believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Good. good, good boy. Good boy. Whoa! Good boy. Whoa! 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 Big fella. Uh, He'll be back. I see you're admiring my little box. It's my own invention to keep clothes and sandwiches in. You see, I carry it upside down so that the rain can't get in. But the things can get out. Don't you know the lid's open? I didn't know it. Well, then all the things must have fallen out, and the box is no use without them. No, the box is no use without them. Well, you see, it's as well to be provided for everything. That's the reason my horse has all those anklets round his feet. But what are they for? Guard against the bites of sharks. <laughs> it's an invention of my own. It's and an I'll invention of your own, and I will help you. To the end of the wood. What's that dish for? It's meant for plum cake. We'd better take it with us. Yes. It'll come in handy if we, we find, find any plum cake. cake. I hope you've got your hair well fastened on. Only in the usual way. That's hardly enough. You see, the wind is so very strong here. It's as strong as soup. Soup? Soup. Have you managed to plan for Keeping the hair from being blown off. Not yet, but I've got a plan for keeping it from falling off. I should like to hear it very much. Well, first you take an off, right stick, and up, then right make stick. your hair then creep up it like a fruit tree. Your hair creep up it like a fruit tree. <laughs> Well, the reason hair falls off is because it hangs down. <laughs> Things never fall upwards, you know. I know, yeah. It's a plan of my own invention. It's you may try it if you like. You it's a plan of my own like. invention. It's a plan of your own invention. I'm going to sing you a song to comfort you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it very long? Yes. It's very long, but it's, it's very, very beautiful. Everyone that hears me sing it, either it, it, it brings tears to their eyes, uh, uh, or, or else... Uh... Or else what? Well... <laughs> or else it doesn't. I'll tell thee everything I can. 
I'll tell you everything I can. There's little to relate. I'll tell you everything I can. There's little to relate. I saw an aged, aged man a sitting on a gate. Uh, by the by, uh, it's uh, just a few yards uh, across the creek, over the hill, and uh, you'll be a queen. A queen? Oh, yes, a queen. Oh, oh boy. A queen, but be very... Oh, oh! oh! A queen! A queen! How grand it sounds! Oh, I never thought I would be a queen! So soon! You can't be a queen, you know, till you've passed the proper examination. And the sooner we begin it, the better. Let's begin it. Let's begin it. Always think the truth. I don't think before you speak and write it down. What do you suppose is the use of a child without any meaning? Even a joke should have meaning. And a child's more important than a joke. I hope, I hope. you couldn't deny that, even if you tried with both hands. I don't deny things with my hands. Nobody said you did. I said you could She's in that state of mind that she wants to deny something, only she doesn't know what to deny. No, yes, a nasty, vicious temper, a nasty, vicious temper, a nasty, vicious temper. I invite you to 
Alice's dinner party this afternoon. And I invite you to Alice's dinner party this afternoon. I invite you to Alice's dinner party this afternoon. I didn't know I was having a dinner party, but if I am, I think that I should be allowed to invite the guests. Can you do addition? What's one and one and one and one and one and one and one? She can't do addition. Can you do subtraction? Take nine from eight. She can't do subtraction. Can you do division? Divide a loaf by a knife. What's the answer to that? She can't do division. Of course, you know your ABCs. Oh, to be sure I do. Down her head. She'll be feverish after so much thinking. Do you know any languages? What's the French for fiddly-dee? Fiddly-dee isn't English. Well, whoever said it was? And I invite you to Alice's dinner party this afternoon. I invite you to Alice's dinner party this afternoon. I invite you to Alice's dinner party this afternoon. They're at it again. Who's at it again? The lion and the unicorn, of course. Fighting for the crown? Oh, yes, to be sure. And the best of the joke is, it's your crown all the while. <laughs> I almost got you that time. What is this? It's a child. We only found it today. It's as large as life and twice as natural. I have always thought that they were fabulous monsters. Is it alive? Yes. It can talk. Talk? child. I always thought that unicorns were fabulous monsters. I never saw one before today. Well, now that we have seen each other, if you believe in me, I'll believe in you. Is that a bargain? Yes.
Thank you. 